Chapter 2, Lesson 4, Percents Greater Than 100 and Less Than 1. You will be able to write percents greater than 100% and percents less than 1% as fractions and as decimals and vice versa. Write each percent as a decimal and a fraction or mixed number in simplest form. Helpful hint, no matter what, percents always have a denominator of 100, even if they're really big or really small. So we can actually use our shortcut method here to figure out the decimal portion, and then we can go from the decimal portion right to the fraction. Our shortcut method to change a decimal to a percent is to move that decimal point 2 to the left. So this would be 0 point, fill in the gap, 0, 0, 2. So that's our decimal answer. Now we need to write it as a fraction. In order to do that, read the number out loud. This number is 2 thousandths. So 2 thousandths. We can reduce by dividing by 2, and we would get 1 five hundredth. So there is our decimal, and there is our fraction. 170%. When there's no decimal point, it's invisible at the end. We move it 2 to the left, and we get a decimal as 1.7. Well, now we would read it as 1 and 7 tenths. 7 tenths cannot be reduced, therefore, therefore that is our answer. Now, some of you may wonder where did that extra 0 go. This could be 1.70, that's perfectly fine as well. It would just be 1 and 70 hundredths, which can then be reduced to 1 and 7 tenths. Letter C, take the decimal point, move it 2 to the left, 0 0.0025 is the decimal. And this is 25 ten thousandths. So 25 ten thousandths. I can divide numerator and denominator by 25, and I would get 1 for the numerator. And I'm going to think to myself, 25 into 100, which is 4 times, and then add the two zeros at the end, so it's 400. That's quick mental math. You could do the long division if you prefer. Letter D, 300%. The decimal point is at the end. Move it 2 to the left. Your decimal is 3.00, or simply 3. And in this case, 3 is also the fraction, because it's 3 and 0 hundredths, which would just be 0. So this is actually both the fraction and the decimal. Really, there is no fraction, but it'd just be one singular answer for that. 530, we move the decimal point, 2 to the left. We get a decimal of 5.3. Again, you could say 5.30. That's absolutely fine, but zeros after a decimal point, if they're at the end, we don't have to write them. So I would write this as 5.3 and read it. It is 5 and 3 tenths, which is reduced. Letter F, move the decimal point 2 to the left. We get a decimal of 0 0.006, which is 6 thousandths, and can be reduced by dividing by 2, and we would get 3 
over 500, which is reduced. Jimmy's savings increased by 250%. Write 250% as a mixed number in simplest form and as a decimal. Again, I like to change from percent to decimal first. So here's our percent. We move our decimal point two to the left, and we get a decimal of 2.50, or simply 2.5. And when we read that number, it's 2 and 5 tenths, which in this case can be reduced. We can divide by 5, and we would get 2 and 1 half. Remember to bring down that whole number of 2. Letter H. The stock price for a corporation increased by 0.11%. Write 0.11% as a decimal and as a fraction in simplest form. So 0.11%, we move the decimal point 2 to the left and fill in the gap with a 0. So we get a decimal of 0 0.0011. So that's our decimal. Then we need to write this as a fraction. When we read this number, it is 11 ten thousandths. Which cannot be reduced. Let me extend that bar. So that's our fraction. Let's go the other way. Write the following mixed numbers as decimals and percents. Helpful hint, the decimal point goes after the whole number. Now, we learned a couple different ways to do this in previous lessons. You can choose the method that's best for you. What you do, you keep the whole number of 1, and that's going to be your number before the decimal point. Then what you need to do is change this part to a decimal. And you could do it one of two ways. You can divide it out, one being in the box, and I'll show you both ways. Four can't go into one. We add a decimal point and a zero. Four goes into ten twice, which is eight. Subtracting it two, add another zero. Four into twenty, five times, subtracting it zero. So we would take this decimal portion and bring it up. So our decimal is 1.25. Now the shortcut way is to make 1 fourth have a denominator of 100. To do that, we would multiply by 25 and get 25 hundredths or 0.25. So that's our decimal. To write it as a percent, we simply take our decimal of 1.25 and move the decimal point this time two places to the right. So our percent is 125%. Letter B, 2 and 9 tenths. Well, that's actually um, a place value. A 10 is a place value. 10, 100, 1,000. So we can just say it out loud, 2 and 9 tenths, and that's our decimal. Or you can use the two methods shown in letter A. To change it to a percent, we need to take our decimal point and move it 2 to the right. We fill in the gap with a 0. So the percent is 290%. Letter C is 3 and 2 fifths. Well, I know it's going to start with 3 point. And now we need to take care of that 2 fifths. Well, 2 fifths can ma be made into a power of 10. We can actually make it into the denominator into 10 exactly. 
So we multiply by 2 and we would get 4 tenths. So this is really 3 and 4 tenths. To change it to a percent, we take that decimal point and move it 2 to the right, filling in the gap with a 0, and we would get a percent of 340. Write the following decimals as percents. Oops. Helpful hint, you can still use the shortcut method. So again, these are percents greater than 100 and less than 1%. We still have the same method, the shortcut method we'll use. We take the decimal point and move it 2 to the right. Moving that 2 to the right, we get 168%. Moving this decimal point, 2 to the right, we get 0.75%. Be sure to write the percent symbol, otherwise it is incorrect. We move our decimal point, 2 to the right, fill in the gap with a 0, and we get 250%. Letter D, again, 2 to the right, we get 0.4%. You do not need to write those extra zeros um, right here, the first two. You don't have to write them. Only one zero is necessary. Letter E, 2 to the right, and we get 0.16%. And last but not least, letter F. 2 to the right, fill in the gap with a 0, and we get 340%. The cheetah is the fastest land mammal in the world. The peregrine falcon is the fastest bird in the world. Its speed is 2.1 times as fast as the cheetah. Write this number as a percent. We take our decimal, we move the decimal point 2 to the right, filling in the gap with a 0, and the percent is simply 210%. And this is a word problem, so it deserves a word answer. We are looking for times as fast. So 210% times as fast. Letter H, the slowest land mammal is the sloth. Its speed is about 0 0.0016, that of a cheetah. So 16 ten thousandths of a cheetah. Write this number as a percent. You take your decimal point, move it 2 to the right. We get 0.16%. And this is... Um, of a cheetah speed, we'll say.